To make stackable chips, they use a ratio of one-third water to two-thirds potato flakes with a little cornstarch mixed in. A conveyor delivers the mix to an auger, which disperses it. Using four tons of pressure, they roll the mix into one long potato sheet. A rotary cutter punches out oval shapes. A device pulls away the scrap dough, leaving flat, uncooked chips. The scrap dough is recycled into the chip making process. The cut chips head into a fryer. As they travel through the fryer, rolling molds give the chips a concave shape. This shape makes them easy to stack. The chips spend 11 seconds frying in hot oil. This makes them crispy. They travel under blowers to get rid of excess oil. The chips get a coat of seasoning, then do a backflip off one conveyor onto another, falling in neat piles. A worker inspects the rows of chips. Then it's on to another conveyor that shakes them up to loosen the stacks. They travel over scales to be portioned out for packaging. Automated spoons feed the chips into the opened ends of the tubes. Guides tap the top of the tubes to nudge the chips into position. Grippers lower the stacked tubes to a station where spinning heads force on metal bottoms. Now they're ready for shipping. It takes about 20 minutes to make a tube of stackable chips, but it takes less time to polish them off. <laughs>